Here comes the head of the table, the Tribal Chief. Roman Reigns, the leader of the bloodline, has arrived. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds, the WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. This is the man who unified the WWE and Universal Championships to become undisputed WWE Universal Champion. It was a history-making WrestleMania moment, and this man has had many of those. Uh, here's a question. What has Roman Reigns done that isn't history-making? I actually agree with you, Saxton, a man who has had an indescribable impact on this industry. He's carved his legacy in stone. By the looks of things, Roman Reigns is ready to continue his unparalleled domination. Six foot seven, 270 pounds of pure aggression. And his opponent from Worcester, Massachusetts, weighing in at 270 pounds, P. Bar. One of the most imposing competitors in all of WWE, a source of frightening aggression. He claims he will lay waste to a soft society. Well, he acknowledged the Tribal Chief first. Now he attempts to do what few have done. Good luck. He's gonna need it. And Roman Reigns has made it clear that he doesn't just want his opponents in the WWE Universe to acknowledge him, he wants the whole world to. Which is why I acknowledged him with a text first thing this morning, Cole. That's just what you need to do to stay on the Tribal Chief's good side. Otherwise, as we'll surely see here, you're gonna get stacked and smashed. You're either on the island of relevancy or you're in Reigns' way. I'll say this much for you, Corey. You are certainly a pragmatist. And he's stepping into the ring with a monster. T-Bar has used his disappointment and his anger as fuel to become the deadliest possible version of himself. A WWE career of being passed over awakens something inhuman in T-Bar. Under retribution, he's finally got the chance to show everyone what he can do. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. Good golly! Caught by surprise with that clothesline. I just have to say, people don't give Roman the credit he deserves for being a brilliant strategist. He, he can pin his opponent right here. Almost two and a half. He thought he had it. Attacking the knee. And T-Bar's aggression got met in full force there. And Reigns doing some proverbial smashing there. Pretty sure they don't want to be taking any more of those. Roman Reigns saying this is not the WWE Universe. This is Roman's Universe. Spiked with a Uranagi. And a 
a Oof. stop to the gut, too. He gets tossed back into the mat. That hit connects from Roman Reigns. Oh, that is going to leave a mark. Turning the tables there. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Into the corner. This can't be good. And that was a Is it enough here? Kenny powers out. Just barely, but it counts. Right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Reigns really having his way right here. And that's the sharp mind of Reigns. Getting inside his opponent's head and taking them apart. Oh, God. Off the rope. Tomekahilo! That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table, none of these things are fun to collide with. Just look into the eyes of these superstars. They're clearly out for blood in this match. That's what this ferocious rivalry has come to. It's not just about winning or losing anymore. It's about destruction. And they'll do whatever it takes to achieve that goal. Oh! 